Could New Mexicans soon be allowed to smoke pot legally in the state? The governor says not if she has anything to say about it. Good evening, everyone. I'm Crystal Gutierrez. The issue sparked as a New Mexican senator eyes changing the state constitution to legalize marijuana. But the governor says no way and claims partisan politics is behind the proposal. Here's News 13's Chris McKee. Crystal New Mexico Senator Jerry Ortiz Pino, who's pushing legalizing weed, says it's about addressing a failed war on drugs, but the governor's office thinks it's an election year ploy. Tastes very much like it smells. Long lines for legal pot buys. Could it soon be a scene in New Mexico, too? If it gets on the ballot, I think we have a really good chance. While New Mexico Senator Jerry Ortiz Pino is still drafting legislation to take up the issue, I don't support it. Governor Susana Martinez is weighing in against it. She says the senator's idea to let voters decide on a constitutional amendment to decriminalize the plant is too broad. I don't believe that um, it should pass through the Constitution. It should go through the legislative process instead, have the legislators uh, decide whether or not that should be constitution uh, or whether that should become law or not. She claims constitutional change would cause federal problems. It will remain. Uh, a crime to be in possession of or to c distribute marijuana federally. But beyond the legal issues, the governor's spokesperson says politics is coming into play. In a statement about the proposal, he wrote in part, quote, it's disappointing that a politician is so driven by partisan politics that he would seek to amend the state's constitution to legalize drugs for the stated purpose of trying to increase liberal turnout in an election. That's in reference to a quote made to a New Mexico political blog where Harry Pavlides, a man associated with Senator Ortiz Pino, said the issue would quote, increase voter turnout in an off year if it's on the ballot. However, Senator Ortiz Pino says legalizing weed isn't politics, writing in part, quote, the so-called war on drugs has ruined thousands of lives, cost billions of dollars, increased violence and lawlessness, and made enormous profits for drug lords. No one should need any other reason to consider legalizing marijuana. Now, if the marijuana constitutional amendment passes legislators this session, it would likely go to voters this year. And if that passes, it would likely be up to lawmakers in the 2015 session to create the state rules for recreational use. Crystal, back to you. All right, thanks, Chris. Now, so far, President Obama says his administration won't go after any of Colorado's pot sellers. 